Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, and I just kicked the camera. Just kicked the camera. Just started the podcast off nice and good. Nice and good. What is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Luke Vaughn. How you doing? This is the Keeping It Real podcast, episode two. You know, we are keeping it real. Like I said, Saturday morning, feeling good, feeling right, freaking feeling tight, baby. That's what I'm talking about. But guys, how we doing? How's everybody doing? I hope hope everybody is uh, dealing with this with this Corona stuff. You know, it sounds sounds like uh, the bright side is ahead. It sounds like the sunny side is coming towards us. It sounds like the sun is entering our atmosphere. So no, it sounds like um, there's some positive there's some positive outlooks on this whole virus and staying home and stuff like that. But hopefully it sounds like it's uh, doing its job and uh, we as citizens and humans did our due diligence. Good job, guys. But seriously, what's going on? It is the Keeping It Real podcast. It is the weekend. Kick back, relax, enjoy with your boy, Luke Vaughn. How you doing? How we doing? What's going on? Guys, honestly, I I can't even lie. I went down a, a rabbit hole a rabbit hole and not of conspiracy let me let me let me let me let me just go back episode one we thought kim jong-un died apparently he's not dead we don't know what's going on all right so north korean leader kim jong-un may or may not be freaking holding on to dear life it may, it may be fake news maybe real news we don't know we're, we're not gonna know for a little while so no more news about kim jong-un but dude i went on a rabbit hunt i went on a rabbit hunt i don't even know what to call it I started, so I'm reading this book, Sapiens, right? I've been reading it for a few weeks now. Honestly, been slacking on the reading, been reading every day, but you know, I got to start picking it up, picking it up, start getting some things done, start reading, you know, figuring some more books out, prepping myself up, you know, preparing what book am I going to read next? Got to figure it out. You know what I'm saying? I can't be reading one book for a month. Can't be doing that. But this book, Sapiens is very good. It is, dude. It's knocking me off my socks. I can't even lie to you guys. If you have the time or you want to read about the early, uh, it's really all about like human evolution. That's basically what it is. Has a lot of history and not too much history where you get bored, but enough history where you're like, what the, is this true? And that's what, that, that, that was me. So I'm reading this book, you know, as, um, as someone that was an, I could call myself an ignorant person. I'm, I get, we still are. We're, I'm always going to be ignorant. You know, there's so much stuff that you don't know as much as you think, you know, the literally the more, you know, the more you realize you don't know. So that's just, that's the ultimate sculpt. You know what I'm saying, dude? Like the more, you know, the more you realize like, ah, shit, I actually don't know any of this. <laughs> you read one book and you're like, well, damn, I have to read a book about all this shit that this guy's talking about. But so I'm learning a little bit, you know, about like human evolution and stuff like that. And I don't know what the guy was talking about specifically that triggered in my brain something. But like I started diving into a little bit of like history, like just some YouTube videos, like some long, like kind of documentaries type stuff. Learning a little bit like of um, Alexander the Great. I woke up the other morning and watched like an hour long documentary about Alexander the Great and his like t- his reign of the Persian Empire. And bro, I'm telling you, someone that was like not like a because like you learn all that stuff in middle school and high school and stuff like that but bro you can't even on you can't even wrap your mind about like what they're actually like your little 12 14 year old brain has no idea like what this teacher is talking about the teacher's all enthusiastic like oh and louis the 16th was the king and he had to reassure the french citizens and your 14 year old brain is like bro the girl in front of me smells so good today bro I'm going to post a TBH today and bro, I hope she likes it so I can give her, to be honest, like you were, smelled really good and you were cute today in class. Oh bro, like that's what you're thinking. You're not thinking about what the hell this teacher is saying. Like shut the hell up, bro. I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to text this. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to slide in this girl's DMs later today. You know, that's what our 14 year old brains are thinking about. You know, how can we impress our friends? Not who the hell is Alexander the Great. So I'm 20 years old, sitting in my room, nine in the morning, watching how Alexander the Great took over the Persian Empire. And bro, it is crazy, bro. It's crazy. Cause like a little bit like Alexander the Great, like he sounds like a guy from movie. Oh yeah. He's the guy from all the movies and shit. (laughs) That's what my little brain was just like, could, could think of. That's what my little brain could like, could grasp at that time. You know, it's just crazy. And then like yesterday, I guess, I guess you could say I wanted to learn some of that stuff. You know, it, it's it's a real rabbit hole. I was learning a little bit about D-Day just to give myself like 
because like yeah d-day you know we invade normandy france and stuff like that we had to take over hitler but like what really happened and stuff like that and then you start learning just a little bit and you're like oh my god dude this is you could spend your whole life trying to figure this shit out and then you start putting together like dude hitler was around less than 100 years ago bro that is insane that is insane that is insane to think about. We're all like, ah, oh, bro, Hitler, bro. We're never going to go back to a world like that. That was barely 100 years ago. Look at history. Thousands of years, bro. Alexander the Great took over the Persian Empire. Dude, he was 20 years old, right? I'll give you a little backstory. You know, your boy got a little bit of, is becoming a little bit of a history buff. You know what I'm saying? So it sounds like, and bro, uh, dude, like my mind was getting blown. It was like, so Alexander the Great's dad was King Philip of uh, Macedonia, Macedonia. Right. And uh, Aristotle, the one of the most famous philosophers ever, who sounds like, like, all right. So like in my mind, when I'm like before I'm watching all this stuff, like Aristotle to me is like maybe like a Jesus apostle in the Bible, whatever that means, like whatever that means, like that is what he is. Like, I don't know. I, I, that's just what I thought of him, a philosopher. Yeah, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So like, all right, Aristotle is like apparently a real person. Right. He figured out all this crazy shit about like like human happiness. And you're like, Oh dude, I don't think this is made up somewhat. Like my brain was starting to like, Oh bro, these, these like humans were alive back then. So obviously people were, bro, I'm telling you, my mind was getting blown yesterday. I'm, I'm just like, what the f like, bro, I, I, I'm still, I'm, I'm just, I'm so blown away. So I, I'm 20 years old. Alexander the Great was taught by the best philosopher apparently ever in the world, Aristotle, right? So this young kid, his dad was the king, um, gets taught by Aristotle, takes over, takes o grows the Macedonian Empire or Macedonian, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, but um, takes over the Persian Empire. This is all around like what? Like 300, 400 BC in that, in that like four to 300 BC area. I think it was like, what, 330-ish? I think he died 340 maybe, 340 BC or some shit like, dude, that's what I'm crazy. And this is like before Christ. I'm like, is this real, bro? I was like, how do they have all these facts? Yo, I'm telling you, my mind was getting so blown away yesterday, bro. I'm like, oh my God, bro. Science is out here screwing with my head, dog. Like, what the? I don't even know what to do right now, bro. It's the first 10 minutes of this podcast and I'm blown away. I, dude, I had to tell you guys. Like, and I'm like, for, for like 12 years straight, this kid, Alexander the Great, 20 years old, takes over his dad's reign because his dad, King Philip, died, got murdered or some shit, right? T becomes the king of Macedonia, takes over the Persian Empire. Who's the king of uh, Persia? It was, um, I don't know, King Odysseus or something like that. Something, something like that. One of those names. I'm thinking like all these people are like Greek gods and fake stuff. And like, bro, like, <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, my mind is getting blown. So now I'm going to have to buy some books, learn about some history and freaking dude, take it in. Take it all in, bro. It was freaking fascinating, bro. Like, oh, like, I don't, I, there was just so much stuff. Like, so this kid, Alex, and like the fact that they were, dude, he went to war. First off, first off, let's just, let's just say, bro, he was at war for like 12 years straight for like 12 years straight, just constantly. I'm oh, like, and it seemed like they were just hiking through, bro, per, the Persian empire was huge. It's like modern day Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, Syria, like all those like Middle Eastern countries, like parts of India, I believe. And like, bro, they're just walking around. I was like, dude, these are straight countries. They're just walking through with armies. Just like, we're going to the next city. And they just throw down and kill everybody at the city. Like, I'm like, my, my little skull, my little puny brain, I don't, I just can't handle it. I cannot handle it. I'm like, bro, what is going on right now? Is this true? Are you lying to me, YouTube documentary? I was like, dude, now I got to get these books and I got to get all this stuff. I was like, Oh my God. Like I'm not ready to do this, bro. I can't, I, I, I can't be diving into all this history, but it was so, it was so fascinating. It was so fascinating. It was like, ah, but then you think about that. He was 20 years old, right? That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting at. I'm 20 years old. I'm making a podcast about this kid was taken over the Persian empire. Not only was he a cruel, ruthless person, but he had to be really smart to like that. That that's what I was getting at going down all these like holes was like Hitler and all the, obviously, horrible people, horrible people at the same time. Uh, Hitler was a little different because I, I don't know, I, but were times really different? At times, I mean, 
all right, I, I, I'm, dude, I'm telling you, my brain got so skull. Like, <clears throat> my gosh, history's. Uh, but dude, they went to, they were at war. For, they were like hundreds of years. We were just fighting each other. War, 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 taking over different empires. And I'm telling you, this book, Sapiens, bruh, bruh, threw me for a loop yesterday, bro. I wasn't ready for that. I'm like, let me, let me prep for my podcast tomorrow. I got to do this, that, and the third. I'm reading this book like, what the, f what the hell is going on? But that's why you read, yo. That's why I got to recommend anyone who does not read books and is kind of intrigued with the little story that I just told you, read a freaking book that interests you. And I'm telling you, you will get blown away, bro. There's just stories and, and facts and stuff like that is that is just, it's just absurd. It's just mind blowing. My mind is blown. My mind is blown. But yeah, that is, that is my one too. I'm not going to go down the, go down the history hole, but I had to tell you guys that I was just like, is all this stuff real and stuff? Oh my, it was just, it was so fascinating. It was really fascinating. And now that like, you kind of like, now that I'm reading and kind of realizing like, you know, history, a, a lot of parts of history is, you know, written down, you know, um, scribed and um, what is it? Tracked and traced and published and all that stuff. So it's like, I, I mean, it's there, dude, it's there. Bro, it's crazy. I was so blown away, so blown away. And then- then, like, I'm learning about all this Alexander the Great, all this shit he was doing. Like, they just going to war, 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 war. At the same time, the Roman Empire is kind of building their, building their, um, their uh, empire. And then once, I think, the Macedonian Empire, or once Alexander the Great started to kind of fall, his, someone else took his, took his empire over. And I think the Roman Empire started, like, you know, becoming the king, becoming the real mf -er of the of the european but dude it's just it was crazy bro i was getting and then you learn about the spanish conquerors that are just like all right bro i'm getting in a boat and i'm just gonna sail across the world we're gonna hopefully find something think about that bro think about getting in a boat like you live in like england right you live in england in 1600 whatever it is and you're like yo nobody's ever done that shit or at least they never came back bro it's been three years bro johnny never came back with the boat i'm going out to find him <laughs> it's been three years like that is it's you know, the first person to circumnavigate the globe like that is like the reality of that is so insane and when you learn that when you're like in elementary school you have no oh circumnavigate the globe yeah this guy did it in a freaking boat you think he's on a freaking sailboat it's, he's in bro i'm telling you he's like 1400 bro it is so funny it is so funny to like experience like the learning of it like what the fuck like these guys are insane and then when you're like 12 learning about it like yeah i mean i would do that <laughs> it was it was just so fascinating it was just so fat bro i'm telling you history yesterday Threw your boy for a loop, bro. I was not ready for it. I was not ready for it. I'm like, is all this shit? Because like for so long, I was just didn't, I didn't want to accept history in a way, in a way. Because number one, there's so much history. Let's just be real. There's so many years of life. It's like who knows what's true, who knows what's real. Blah 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 blah. But like, there's some parts that are like, kind of like I guess like, and they also they also have an Im, Im, like imprint on today's society, right? Like. The Roman Empire, like learning about um, debt and capitalism and consumerism and all that stuff, like learning about how credit worked. And like, I think this, th there was a Scottish person who was the first person who figured out credit and credit would, f would um, increase your economy, bro. Oh my God, dude. It was lit. That's why the Dutch, that's why the Dutch empire uh, grew so fast because they, they um, used credit instead of Spain because the Spanish empire was not using credit. They were using kind of like taxation on their people and it started to fall, bro. I'm telling you, you got it. I'm just a regular Joe. I'm just a regular Joe. And I'm like, what the hell? How do I know all this shit? <laughs> yeah. But uh, I'm telling you, you guys got to read a book. You guys got to read a book. But that is my, um, that's my one, two on history. And I was also learning about cars. Like not, not too much about cars because cars, like cars are cool, but like, I can't afford a really nice car. So like, I don't really want to go in depth about cars and start dreaming and all that stuff. But it's kind of cool to learn about like the, the innovations of cars and like the, um, the science and technology behind vehicles and stuff like that. And learning about, um, indie cars. I mean, indie cars in general are just insane. Just insane. Let me try to keep this microphone. I don't want to talk away, but indie cars are just absolutely, obs oh, it's a little too close now. I'll just, keep, I'll just leave it. But, um, indie cars are just crazy. Like People that drive the, what is it, like the Indy 500 or the Indy, whatever it is. Those guys are, 
insane. Those cars go so fast. They're like, li- they're like super, super go karts. They're like literally super go karts, dude. I, and Lewis Hamilton, the G, Lewis Hamilton, the goat right there. I think he's the goat, right? Is that maybe, maybe there was a guy back in the day that was a, a better driver than him. NASCAR is a little different. NASCAR is starting up. Shout out to the Corona. NASCAR said, you Corona, I'm coming out May 17th. NASCAR coming out. So, you know, we got our NASCAR fans. Yeah. Hell yeah. We got the NASCAR coming on. But, um, yeah. What, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. F- Formula one car. It's not Indy car. Formula one, Indy, or maybe they're the same thing. Indy formula one, but bro, like, that's insane to really drive like a formula one car like at the top speed it can go is you have to be absurd you have to be like ready to die like literally ready to die it's so absurd so the speed they're going at is insane insane like that's crazy but that's their job i guess i guess that's what they love to do probably have to be born inside of like a car like your dad's like a car guy and then you love cars or maybe like you just want to go super i don't know bro and then cycling I was learning about cycling. First off, cycling's mad dangerous. Like your boy wants to do a triathlon or a duathlon or ride a freaking bike really far, some shit like that. I'm not trying to die. A lot of these people die. Not only like getting hit by a car, you know, that's something I got to worry about when I run, but like I, like flip over there they're, first off they're moving they are moving and if you're going downhill or some shit you are moving on them bikes them road bikes <laughs> all aerodynamic and you got the freaking spandex on <laughs> you like you're bound to crash you're bound to crash it's like motorcycle but slower motorcycle motorcycle jesus motorcycle so scary but um motorcycles got looks like fun <laughs> but a uh, bike yeah it just is it worth the workout like i i like the stationary bike basically because i don't want to ride around and get hit by a car and also like if you go really really fast dude you're going really really fast bro like that's scary i don't know i don't know the biking the whole cycling thing is a little sketchy for me a little ske- and it's mad bread it's mad bread you drop like a few thousand dollars on a on an average bike on a on a on a semi average bike on a pretty good bike I guess a few thousand dollars could get you I'm sure it's pretty good but um but still and then you get hit by a car you're dead and your bike's all ruined what the hell is that where's the fun in that Jack come on but yeah cycling is um a little sketchy for me I'm gonna have to take a step back and say I pa- I'm passing on that I was watching a lot of Olympic stuff I don't know why but the Olympics are posting a lot of stuff maybe because the Olympics got canceled I think the Olympics were posted supposed to be this year they were the summer olympics right oh that's why they posted all the track stuff that's a neck bro i'm like why is all the track stuff up this is lit i'm, I'm watching all the rio track the london track like why are the olympics posting this because there's no olympics this year i think it was supposed to be in japan yeah. the corona that's what the cats do that's what my cat does when she doesn't want to she's like Bro, I was hyped, bro. The Olympics are always mad fun, especially Summer Olympics, especially now that I'm running. Especially now that I'm running. I'm trying to see Mo Farah. Is he, is he, was he going to run? My gosh. I'm trying to see him win the 5K. Double, 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 triple, triple. Come on now. Come on now. I'm trying to see, you think, oh, um, like who was going to, I was really trying to see who was going to run the marathon. Who was going to try to win the marathon. That would have been lit. Are they, were they going to do it? Because I was watching the, uh, the Rio t- 2016 marathon. Elliot Kipchoge, dude, the way these professional marathon runners, the pace that they run at not only is extremely fast, but the length, like, the, like they're running almost like Olympic speed, like 800 type times, maybe not when they're full pace, dude, like somewhat, I, I don't know exactly how to convert it, but they're going fast, fast for 26 miles. It's absurd. It's low key absurd. Like to look at for the first time is like, that's crazy. But now like I'm low key trying to, trying to get there. What the hell, bro? I feel like if I train and run long enough, hard enough, I can get. Oh, I feel like I got to pop. Dude, I really got to go to the chiropractor. It's freaking. Oh, this that you know, the problem. The problem is the gyms are closed and your boy can't go to the sauna. You know, the sauna sauna. If you guys need to learn about any sauna advice, what, go type in YouTube. Dr. Rhonda Patrick sauna benefits. Boom, right there, right there, and you're good. That's all you need.
That's really all you need. And uh, it's going to open your eyes that the sauna will save your life. And you should invest in going to a gym with a sauna. And you should invest your time in spending 10 minutes a day in a sauna. And I promise you, you'll feel better. You'll, I'm telling you, like, I feel all tight and stuff. I haven't gone to the sauna in over a month. My gym has been closed for over a month. That'd be crazy if, like, the gym has to close because, like, the owner's, like, broke or something now. Like, who, who knows? I have no idea how, who owns my gym. Like, I go to a pretty big gym. So it's kind of, we'll see how that goes. I feel like they were in terms of talking too, because I feel like old business guys were always coming in, in and out of the gym talking. So I feel like they were trying to sell it, but I could just be making that up. But yeah, man, I am trying to run a lot faster. You know, if you don't know, I ran the New York City Marathon, had fun with that. That was my first marathon. Uh, Sunday, Sunday, today is Friday. So last Sunday, I ran a half marathon just for fun. You know, I was supposed to run a half marathon at the beach for an event, but the Corona canceled it. And I said, screw the Corona. I'm still running the marathon or the half marathon. So I did that. Um, I kind of stopped my training for that, but you know, like I said, I'm really trying to get my pace up, start running. I really want to start applying like running. I want to, I want to, I definitely want to have some, like I said, guys, I want to have people on here and I want to pick their brain, talk to them, have true conversations with people. Like I want to have a, a someone that runs a, maybe collegiate level mile or something like that, run something like that, have him talk to him for an hour of like nutrition, stuff like that, day-to-day -day workouts. So uh, take that into consideration right now. You know, coronavirus, everybody locked up in the crib, can't be, can't be letting people in the podcast studio or I'm going to have to freaking lock them in, lock them in the podcast studio and quarantine them. But uh, yeah, like I said, guys, it's not just going to be me up here giving my old spiel about whatever the hell is going on. Normally, I will be talking to people and we will be discussing what they do, what I do, what, what what's going on in the world, just regular regular human people, you know, intellectual, hopefully intellectual conversation, somewhat, into, let me say that, somewhat intellectual conversations, you know, have some fun with it, have some, have some laughs, have some fun, have some time to kick back and relax. Well, yeah, that, 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 that is just, uh, if you guys missed the first podcast, my pilot, that is what I spoke about. Kind of this podcast is just going to be a platform to talk. Definitely talk to people though. You know, I'm not just trying to talk about what I do. Talk to other people, figure out what they're doing, figure out how whoever's listening can apply what we're all doing and learn from us and learn from whoever the hell I'm talking to and, you know, have fun with us or give some ideas, give some, give some advice. You know, if, if you're hearing me talk about running and you're a good runner, get the drop in the comments right now and help your boy. Come on. No time to hesitate, but that's, that's what this podcast is about. Just to, you know, talk to people, you know, expand, expand, expand myself, expand my mind, try to expand other people's minds, try to think a little bit, try to have some fun, try to be, just try to be a freaking nice person and have some fun doing it for God's sakes. So, uh, that's what's going on. And also things that I, uh, pick up during the week. Like I said, weekends, I'm going to be doing a podcast twice a week, uh, before the weekend like this. And then after the weekend, uh, like my last podcast, you know, discussing some of the things that I learned, some of the things that are going on in the world, you know, just some, some fun, some fun. stuff. I got the, we got the whiskey. No, I'm just kidding. We got straight water, straight ice water, baby. Got to stay hydrated. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying, bro, I was watching some cycling and I got to say, Lance Armstrong is the goat. Like as much as, Oh, he cheated. Number one, let's just, let's just, uh, I saw the, you saw the foot kick. Ah, let's put the foot up. Number one, they were all cheating. All the top, all the top cyclists at that time were all cheating. All the winners were cheating. So to say like Lance was the only cheater, like I just don't understand why Lance got so battered. It sounds like he was an asshole to the media and he was rude and disrespectful to the media. And he was, he was super, oh, I didn't take any steroids. I didn't do any doping. I didn't do anything. He straight denied it. Straight denied it. So he straight lied. Did he lie on the stand? He might have lied on the stand. That's why he got banned. I, I think he lost a lot. I don't know how, I, but he was, bro, come on, dude. Everyone is cheating. Everyone's cheating. But our cheater is better than your cheater. And, you know, we, you know what I'm saying, bro? Lance is the GOAT. Lance is the GOAT, bro. And also, bro, he did the Tour de France and won seven times. Won the Tour de France seven times. If you don't know what the Tour de France is, learn what the Tour de France is and then put it in perspective that this mother won seven times, bro. And he had to beat cancer, come back and win. And everybody else is doping. Everybody else is doing the same HGH, whatever steroids he's doing. 
They're doping. What it sounds like they're doing is the doping. So let me be a scientist. Let me be a fake scientist for about 30 seconds. Nah, but um, <clears throat> I think what they were doing, I think PEDs, I think it was a style of, right? PEDs, that what, <clears throat> excuse me, what TJ Dillashaw got, um, got caught for doing. He got suspended for two years from the UFC because of PEDs. And that's what I believe, I believe that is what the endurance athletes and specifically Lance and the cyclists were using at that time was PEDs where they basically, they, they take the blood out of your body, right? And then they cycle the blood with fresh oxygen and hormones and chemicals and like, like HGH, I don't know, like healthy blood cells and stuff like that, I think, right? Especially like high level oxygen or some, something like that. I'm really, I may be butchering this. I may be nailing it on the freaking head, but I, I don't know. But um, that's basically what they were doing. I think they were taking the blood out. They were cycling the blood with healthier like hormones and, and nutrients with the blood and oxygen and then re-putting the blood, uh, blood back into their body, which is insane. That's like, in, like the concept of that is low-key insane. But the, like- the product you re is better. You get a better product. You get a better human specimen, you know? It's crazy. It's crazy to think about. It's crazy, dog. It's crazy, dog. It's Randy Jackson. It's crazy. Bro, whatever happened to American Idol? Being good. Simon Cow. Simon Cow was lit. Also, when they were the only show, that, that was the thing. When they were the only show and, like, you could really go on that show and get famous, like, People went on that show. Like, think about Kelly Clarkson. You got Kelly Clarkson, Carrie Underwood, Chris Daughtry, um, Jennifer Hudson, um, Fantasia. Um, I mean, Ruben Studdard, I don't think did much. Maybe some gospel shit. I don't know. But um, those three or those group of people, they they killed it. Kelly Clarkson, yeah. Jennifer Hudson, Chris Daughtry, Carrie Underwood, Fantasia. They were really, really famous. But they were like the first OG, right? They like showed... That, oh my God, I, I became an American Idol. Yeah, that was lit, yeah. American Idol was lit back then. But um, now there's like a million shows like that. You got American Idol Australia. Like, how is it American Idol Australia? So Australian Idol. But whatever, man. Whatever. Whatever, dude. Uh, uh, dude, May 1st. Well, technically this is coming out May 2nd. But May. May April flowers bring, we, April showers bring May flowers, and that's all I got, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's been, it's, I mean, it's been a rainy April, so hopefully, I, has it really been a rainy, rainy April? I, I, I don't even know, like, can you even, like, remember at the end of the month, like, oh, yeah, it's been a rainy month, only, like, with snow, low-key, like, if you got a lot of snow, you'll remember, like, yeah, bro, last month, we got hit with some storms, <clears throat> But uh, what else I wanted to talk about today was piloting. You know, my last podcast was called Pilot, you know, to get it started, get this thing started. But I wanted to talk about pilots last podcast. You know, I didn't, I ran out of time. Don't really want to go over an hour right now. You know, we're keeping it at an hour, trying to get, trying to get some quality, fun content in an hour, trying to get something that is everybody can listen to for an hour. So until we can break that threshold of an hour, we will not break a threshold of an hour. But guys, I want to talk about a pilot. I think about, a pilot. He has to get, well, first off, you got to train for mad long. First off, you have to want to be a pilot. You have to want to fly a plane in the sky. First off, I don't even want to be in a plane, bro. Like you're 30,000 feet in the air going 500 miles an hour, like going up, like bro, like the concept of that is insane, bro. <laughs> like You're going and then you land the plane. Oh, we're, we're coming down. And think about it. They really don't use no visual shit. They're straight getting talked to. Yeah, radar, bro. Uh, 347. Uh, gotta fly in north. Over out. <laughs> That's what's going on. They can't. Like, think about flying at night. You can't see shit, bro. It's, you're literally flying in the black. <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> bro, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy, bro. Like, flying a plane is insane. We put so much trust in these pilots. Yeah, bro. You're gonna fly me in the air across the fucking country and just land bro all right see you guys later <laughs> like that concept is insane bro like like it's not even like possible for like someone that doesn't understand the science to fully like i just like i'm just saying it like i was talking about the history like i'm just saying a plane 
goes 30,000 feet in the air and flies that. Like, I can't even fully fathom that. Like, it's so crazy, bro. It's so crazy, dog. Let's see. Oh, I was watching a documentary. Bro, crazy, right? Remember in 2014, actually on my birthday, yo, March 8th, you know, your boy is a March Sipes baby. Sipes? Pisces. Pisces. Don't correct me. Pi that shit's not real anyways. Anyone who believes that, watch, there's a girl listening like, uh, I think it is real. No, it's not. Read a book. All right. Figure out some human being shit because, you know, just because you're born in June and I'm born in March doesn't make us different. I don't care, bro. I don't care. Because low key, those like, those, those things apply to everybody. You could, you could, you could, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, he's a nice person, but he gets angry. Like, oh, oh, he's a Pisces. Definitely, bro. That fits me. Like, if, bro, you're a moron. Shut the hell up, dude. Read all the months and then relate yourself. I bet you'll relate yourself to all the months and find little things that you don't. Like, come on now. Come on now, bro. Well, as I was saying, as I was saying, remember 2014, March 8th. You might not remember that, but I'm going to refresh your mind. The Malaysian flight. Hold on. I got to. The Malaysian flight 370, <laughs> Malaysia flight 370 went missing. And it actually was, <clears throat> it was actually the largest, most expensive uh, aircraft investigation of all time. And it was pretty crazy, yo. If you like, you got to look into it, bro. But I was, <laughs> but I was, <laughs> that's what all, that's what all the idiots say. Yo, um, you got to look into it, bro. I don't have enough time to t explain it to you. But it was, it was, it's crazy. Like, so it sounds like they were going it sounds like they were going from Malaysia to Beijing, China, right? <clears throat> so Malaysia is Malaysia is Malaysia like a owned by China? I think they're owned by China, but I don't know if they're like part of the Chinese government. I'm not quite sure how the whole Asian that is a little confusing and a little weird in itself. I'm gonna leave that alone because I'm not I'm not prepared and I'm not ready and smart enough to talk about that shit. But um, the Malaysian flight, yeah, dude, it just went missing. It went missing. So it sounds like, it sounds like, and you know, I guess they can track the black box and I guess they can track some of the radar. It sounds like they were flying over regular, you know, to Beijing. And then they turned around, they made like a cut and then they turned completely around and started going back over Malaysia, basically the same way back a little bit in a different direction, a different parallel. I'm going to try to put a picture here of what the guy was showing so you guys can get a view. It was pretty cool though. It was pretty like crazy that they can track it and, you know, explain it. Cause it was, it's a big, it's a huge mystery, honestly. And, um, so it sounds like they were going in the opposite direction. It sounds like they turned off like their radar or their something like where they can, their connection, they turned off something important, right? Cause they had to go to Australia to go check like the whole like Boeing aircraft, like connection beacon and stuff and go check the history and stuff like that because it was all connected to australia so i was like all right you know, australia out here doing their th and australia is a weird continent right they just kind of do their own thing like besides whatever like the fires that were just going on what's happening in australia you know what i'm saying bro like they just be laying low besides like the kangaroo videos that get out every once in a while and like some of their freaking football, like what is going on? They are a continent and a country in the same being. Who the hell do they think they are? Nah, but I low key, I like Australians. <laughs> but um, yeah, so the flight was like in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. I believe it was the Mediterranean Sea. I'm going to show you guys right here of where they found, where they appeared to think that the plane crashed. Okay. I, I hope I can find these videos. I'm not just saying this random shit, but <laughs> I hope I can find these pictures to put up for you guys. But um, it landed in like the Mediterranean Sea by, ooh, I don't know exactly what islands, but it sounds like either they were, they either got taken, they, dude, they, honestly, it sounds like they don't know what the fuck happened to this plane. They literally have no idea what happened to this plane. And um, well, one of the, I think it was, um, does the black box record like what is happening engine like mechanically in the plane or just the uh, the voiceovers it may just record the voiceovers but apparently like the plane like mechanically got recorded or somehow there's like a the, the the things the recorders right to keep track of the plane to keep it in radar and apparently the plane took a a 30,000 foot dive or like a 20,000 foot dive and then it went super 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 high like above the plane's elevation like allowed elevation went like 50,000 feet but then like it couldn't be redone in a 
in a simulation. So they said uh, that evidence can't be true. That has to be like a malfunction in the system. But who knows? Maybe they lost air pressure or cabin pressure. That's what that's what some of the people were thinking. Maybe they were getting low on gas or something, and they were trying to turn around. Or maybe they got low on uh, cabin pressure, and they um, started nose diving. And the um, maybe they woke back into consciousness. The pilot. It's they sound like they have absolutely no idea. And the pilot, like, was the the pilot low key, low key didn't seem that like um, like, like he was like a terrorist or trying to like kill the people. Um, there were two. I think there were two people with fake passports that hopped on the plane. But apparently, there's no suspicion about that, which is kind of kind of weird in itself. Uh, there was a, I think there was a Boeing mechanical engineer on the plane that apparently had the capability to fly a plane and take over. So there's those, like, it is a, it's really a crazy story. It's really a crazy story. And I'm like, oh my God, like, and they didn't find anything for like, I think it was 16 months. It was over a year for sure. I think the guy said 16 months. They didn't find anything. And they search, you have to, and like low key, bro. Like when, when they're like, yeah, they had to search the ocean. You had to search the freaking ocean for a, a plane that sunk. Think about that, bro. Like, an, oh, a needle in a haystack? Fuck that, that, that saying, bro. That's not even... Bro, you're in the ocean, dog. Like, that is... Oh, my God. Like, oh, my God. You have to find this fallen plane in the middle of the ocean. That is, that is, what, think about that task. Like, yeah, dude, we're going to go try to find this plane that freaking might have crashed over there. It's like, over there, bro, that's the, you're pointing at the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> so right about over there. <laughs> bro, that is insane. Like, how is that even, and I don't, th I don't think they found shit. I don't think they found shit until 16 months later, 16 months later, they're um on the coast of uh, an uh, Union, coast of Union, I believe, off the coast of Madagascar. They found like a, a, a flap or something with the serial numbers from the plane and stuff and it all lined up. And then over the, over the next few months, they, the, um, the scraps of the, some scraps of the plane started like um, sweeping up on the beaches of the different African uh, countries and different areas of the, uh, but the other side of the Mediterranean Sea, because it said it, cr they thought it thought to be crashed basically by like, uh, I think it was like Japan, I believe Japan, Indonesia type shit. I dude, I gotta get a map out here, bro. I might be butchering this story, honestly. But um, it's just crazy. It's just crazy that this plane crashed. All these people on board, people have no idea where the plane is, and like nobody knows what the hell happened. That like that's basically the story. And still, 2020, and uh, nah, we don't really got a good idea. Like what? <laughs> like that's insane. That is insane. That's pretty crazy to think about. Pretty crazy to think remember it's like malaysia flight three seven what is it three seven zero is missing like a plane is missing where is it like where is it like what do you mean it's missing it's missing like, what the like, imagine just crashing in the middle of the ocean bro bro that's why i don't fuck with planes bro because in a car crash like maybe you can crash into like get off the sidewalk like a super serious you know get onto the sidewalk veer lanes you have some control bro in a plane you're just like well you're literally like checking out bro like that i just i ooh, oh i don't like that i don't like that. i, I want to be in control bro maybe i'll just have to fly my own planes nah but oh my god bro I, ooh, crash like being the imagine being the pilot like dude there's nothing i can do like we're gonna crash and die I have to prepare all these people. So you get on the mic and you're like, everybody, breaker, breaker, <laughs> breaker, breaker. Everybody, today's the day. I want you to brace for impact. I want you to look around right now. Look around. I want you to tell your neighbor you love him. And I had the time of my life and i owe it all to you and the freaking plane is like what the hell we're about to crash and die and the freaking plane pilot is like ah, 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 ah. i've had the time of my life say like, no and i owe it all to you and the freaking 
Yo, the place of the pilot, yo, he's like, I'm ready for this. Turns on the disco lights and he starts. He starts getting lit, bro. It's like, damn, bro, he's ready to die, son. Maybe, maybe that happened with Malaysian Flight 370. <laughs> Yo, but I have no idea, man. Just know, just know, I don't trust pilots. I don't trust pilot politicians. And I don't trust, what else am I? Oh, I should have had a third one ready. That would have been funny. If I, and bakeries. I don't trust bakeries. You want to know why? Because freaking cake and cookies make you fat. They're trying to kill us. Yo, but what? All right, I have a dude. I have another thing to talk about. Have you ever, have you ever like thought back to like a girl that you dated, or you know, someone that you, you know, a girl boy, whatever, whoever you dated, someone that you talked to, someone that you maybe had a little crush on, middle school, high school, college, whatever it is, and like you think back, like number one. Like, the, especially the ones that, like, kind of go missing. Like, have, <laughs> yo, this sounds ratchet. <laughs> but has anyone ever talked to somebody that has, like, literally gone missing? Or at least at least known somebody that, like, somewhat gone missing? Like, not like, oh, we can't find her, but just, like, you know, stop showing up to school. You know, shit like that. Yeah, just, like, where'd this person go? Yeah. Like, you ever think they, like, they became a porn star? Or have you ever dated anybody that, like, has become a porn star? Or, like, you think may or may not... You know, like, ah, oh, dude, Sandy, she's going down the wrong road. She's going to, oh, yo, I don't want to diminish anyone going down poor because if you want to be a porn star, you can be a fucking porn star. I love you for that. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, like some people, I feel like, especially in school, like I was watching a college documentary in, in college. Yeah, it was so weird, bro. I really, I was about to, I was about to say something to the professor just because, just because it was not because it was inappropriate. I didn't give a shit about that just because like. It was just biased. It was just biased. But it was like girls, like, it was not by, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know how to, uh, uh, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying is, <laughs> it's Chris D'Elia, what I'm saying is, but um, yeah, have you ever talked to somebody and be like, yo, they might be a, might be a, yo, but the weirdest thing, the weirdest thing would be if you're like 10, 20 years from now, if you're like, you know, married, it's like, all right, honey, I'm going to take a shower right now. You know, go sneak in the bathroom. It's like, ah, it's been freaking, it's, it's been a week since I got to beat my shmeat. <laughs> I don't even know how old people be, bro. I don't even want to think about being like an old guy with a wife. <laughs> Yo, that shit is funny as hell. That, that's so, that's such a touchy subject, bro. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But yo, imagine loading up, you know, especially nowadays, bro. Porn, dude, with the corona, you have to see the influx in the porn numbers, bro. The statistics, the statistics are insane, bro. <laughs> but, um, yo, imagine like logging on and you're like, oh, yeah, here we you're trying to, you know, you know what I'm saying? You're trying to, oh, yeah. <laughs> Being a fucking creeper. And the next thing you're like, oh, my God, bro, this is my ex girlfriend. This is freaking Sally. This is freaking Sally from middle school. It's like, bro, she became a porn star. And you start watching. <laughs> Yo, that would be like, I'm sure that happened. Like, I'm sh that has to have happened. Like, I'm sure someone's like, all right, you know. Oh, my God, bro. This is my ex. Or it's like, this is my wife. Yo. <gasps> oh, bro. I didn't even. I mean, I did think of that. But, bro, that would. Oh, mad. Like, husband, wife. How Imagine how, like, heartbroken. Oh. Yo, dog! Imagine you like, yeah, bro. I can't, I can't tell my girl I'm about to do this right now. Who is this, her, bro? Like, oh my god, bro. that dude, that would, that that would, ah, dude. I don't know what I would do. I don't know. What, I would literally go run a marathon. <laughs> I would have to go run. I would have to go run it off, bro. I'd have to go run it off, bro. That would be anyone, anyone that has, bro. And I know someone has probably gone through that. I you know. And I just want to say, bro, and and shawty, females, males, I'm with you, bro. That is that is hard. That it's got to be. That's got to be seriously like emotionally devastating, low key. Like as much as I'm goofing on it and whatever it is, that's got to be really like almost like scarring, right? Like I'm gonna give everything to this girl or this. this I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give my world to him. Like I want him to be the father of my. And he's out here being a porn star. In his, you know, you can't hate him. You know, if 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 
times were tough and they came from a rough life. I mean, lying about it is one thing. Lying about it, like, you know, if you're like, yo, I did porn, you know, it, it happened. I had to make ends meet. I tried to be an actor. I got caught up on the casting couch. <laughs> Next thing you know, I became a porn star. You know, your girl should try to understand. If she wants to be with you, cares about you, bro. <laughs> She's got to understand. She got to understand the truth. But, um, yo, if you lied, though, if you're like, oh, no, I went to college for four years. and I, <laughs> Next thing you know, you're out here making porn videos, bro. That would be devastating. That would be devastating. That would be devastating. Would be like 10 years into the marriage, you got three kids. You got three kids. You did what? Oh my God, dude. That would, that is why I am sick now. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, yo. But yo, what is going on, everybody? Supreme dropped the other day. If anybody is a Supreme head, I don't know if we got any Supreme heads, but Supreme dropped, you know, Supreme is a, you know, Supreme, the store, the store did pretty well. The store did pretty well. And uh, I got, I got, I got something pretty lit. I got an ashtray. And I got an accessory, got a Supreme accessory. But as I said, guys, I'm really focused right now on uh, trying to achieve something better in running. That's really what, like, obviously, obviously I've been telling you guys, you know, I'm trying to make a podcast. Here I am podcasting it up, whooping it up. If you don't know, I, you know, I have a, a personal YouTube where I like to make daily vlogs and like to make fun videos and stuff like that. So I like to do little bit of both, you know, obviously this podcast will be a uh, increase, you know, try to have more people on, you know, just keep it going, keep it pumping, keep more content coming out for anybody that wants to listen to this co- podcast. I'm happy. I'm actually very glad and proud of myself to say that this podcast is on Apple podcast, which is really not that hard to get on Apple podcast, but I feel like it is a pretty good uh, goal that I got, you know, Apple podcast accepted your boy. So uh, we are on Apple podcast. All you have to do is type in the keeping it real podcast and it will pop up. Just got to look for your boy's face and hopefully we can make our way through the ranks and you know, you just type in keeping it real and we come the. I want to be the keeping it real. Boom, Luke Vaughn right there. You know what I'm saying? Trying to hop up on that Apple podcast wave. So check out your boy in Apple podcast if you want to uh, just listen. But I do enjoy, I do enjoy the whole YouTube aspect. I do enjoy the video. Me sitting here talking, freaking, you know, putting on a little bit of a show, having some fun. Definitely want to be talking to some people. I feel like people, even myself, enjoy, you know, if someone's talking, you kind of want to hear the emotion, see the emotion, feel see what's going on, see what they're talking about. I feel like that is a lot more enjoyable to listen to when you can watch as well. So that is a big part why I wanted to add the YouTube into this podcast. And uh, yeah, that is what I'm doing. But like I said, I'm trying to achieve better goals and achieve greater things in my running game, in my running arsenal. So uh, where I was before, I was you know at the gym. I was at the gym getting big, not getting big, but trying to get big. This is my first, this is, I'll give you a little timeline of uh, my gym Give you a little timeline of my gym days. <clears throat> so I was at college last year and I was a uh, little overweight, a little thick, a little thick for your boy, a little thick for yourself, honestly, a little thick for myself. Normally I play high school soccer, first year without high school soccer because your boy graduated high school. So I was getting a little thick, getting a little, getting a little thick around the edges, you know what I'm saying? So I noticed that I was like, all right, let me go to the gym, try to get some muscle, try to get some, you know, first thing you do when you go to the gym and you've never really worked out for, you really just do a bunch of arm workouts and then eventually you start learning different things and gaining the confidence to hop on the bench and hop, do different things in front of all the people in the bench. I know how it is. I know how it is going to the, now I don't care, bro. I'm skinny. I don't give a shit, bro. I'll outlift most of these because anyways, bro. I mean, these big boys, you know, I'll give them respect, but I don't give a shit. I don't care, bro. I'll eat a bunch of shit and in two months I'll lift that weight. Who cares, bro? It's literally science, bro. Do your fucking math, you know, do your macros. But seriously, I was uh, seriously trying to get big, not big, but just in shape. I was trying to get cut lean, um, just trying to be a freaking, trying to be fit, just trying to be fit, wanted some abs. Everybody wants some abs. You know, that was, that was a big goal of mine, uh, back at college, you know, all the freaking cool guys had all the, uh, the frat guys had all the abs. So I was like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I got to go chase that. I got to go chase that bag. So I started, uh, you know, just lifting, doing some BS lifting. And then I, I was, wasn't really, I wasn't really changing as fast as I wanted. Not only was I living the college diet, which is if you guys live the college diet right now, I, I seriously, I truly recommend you to change your diet and it will help you in every aspect of your life, period. Just that, like that statement alone. 
nothing, nothing, nothing more, nothing less. If you change your diet and get healthier than whatever diet you're doing, I don't care if you're, if you think you have a healthy diet, you can have a healthier diet and it will help you. That is just, um, that's my advice about diet, you know, and I didn't, I didn't learn about diet until a few months ago, honestly, a few months ago, five, six months ago, I didn't truly indulge myself in like diet education and trying, trying to become a better dietitian and trying to, you know, make myself healthier in the diet aspect. I thought it was all gym work. I thought it was all lifting weights and getting big and who can put up the most pounds and stuff like that. You know, that's a start. If that's where you're at right now, keep pushing and keep going. Just don't give up on that, you know, and then eventually you'll find. Also, I got to recommend if you want to, you know, find some help, find some help in the gym, do stuff that you like. Do stuff like if you hate doing shoulders, you know, do shoulders once a week, bro. Like don't try to do shoulders three, four times. Don't try to get big shoulders. If you hate doing shoulders, you're you'll eventually stop working out. Stop doing your you're gonna be like, ah, oh, bro, I don't feel like doing shoulders no more. Start doing workouts that you like. That that's my biggest recommendation for anybody that doesn't work out. You know, if you're someone that's like a hardcore worker out or, you know, don't don't I, you know what you're doing. You know what you're doing. But anyone that has to take like some advice that like needs some motivation, I do seriously recommend try to fix your diet, challenge yourself. That's the, that, that's what it is. I mean, you're challenging yourself to try to get big, try to put up more weights, challenge yourself with your diet. That, that, that's how I looked at it. And that's sort of God that changed my life, boy. That's what I have to say about diet. But um, also, yeah, just like work out what you, what you like. I started, uh, and then I started running. So I, I wasn't really, you know, losing as much weight, getting as fit, as quick as I wanted to. Right. So I started running. I started running long distances because I started kind of liking it. I don't know. Like there was like a euphoria of running far and then being like, yeah, bitch, I just ran mad far. You know what I'm saying? Like I just ran far. You didn't. <clears throat> Not only that, but also like being alone. That That's a big part of it. You know, that confidence, right? Like I ran eight miles. What did you do, bro? Like that's good. You want to feed yourself a little bit. You want to, you want to eventually learn about your ego in that aspect, but you do want to feed your ego a little bit. But then you also, also I was getting to the point where like, I was really like it. Like I was like, I like being alone in the aspect of nobody saying shit to me, bro. I'm listening to my own music. If I don't want to listen to music, I'm, I'm by myself. I don't run with nobody. No, maybe in time I'll eventually find some friend. First off, nobody really wants to run with your boy because your boy is out here running by himself, man. I run too early in the morning. Nobody wants to run. I, we on quarantine, so I'm let me come, let me cut some people some slack for sure. But um, either way, I like running by myself. I like being alone. I like the headspace. I can let myself go, and then when I come back, I'm like, all right, we're getting back to the regular world. I come back. That that and oh, I like it. So I like it. So then I I channel my workouts and my fitness around running. Right. So now I, I'm becoming a better runner. I like running. I try to challenge myself with more running things because I want to reach running goals because I do kind of like it. I kind of start to like it. And the more you like it, the more you accept it, the more you, you begin to like it. So like so <clears throat> my biggest advice for anybody trying to be in the gym, you know, trying to like, oh, bro, like I'm, I'm in the gym, but I'm not finding that routine. I'm not finding that consistency that I need. Find some shit that you like to do. Don't, you don't need to change it up all that. Of course, you need to change it up to, you know, reach reach bigger goals. You know, if you run three miles a day, eventually that three miles is not going to be that challenging. You're going to, you know, it's same thing with freaking taking drugs, bro. You take drugs, you don't get high no more. That's why that's why these freaking drug addicts keep chasing that drug, that high because you don't get high anymore. So now you need two, now you need three. Same thing with athletes, bro. It's the same thing. You got, but you got to push yourself. You got, you, you can't be freaking doing drugs. You can't be, you got to. Different, different headspace, different headspace. And that's, that's where, um, that's where running took me though. That's where running took me and started making me realize that shit. And I, I, I have to say, I do like running. I do like running. It is, um, also kind of, I guess you could say I'm kind of fast. So it is something that I've, I've been good at. So it's when you're good at something, you know, that's, that's a big part of why people get good at something is because, you know, they, they get good at something. Someone tells them they're good. They, they like it more and then they try more and then they get even better. And then boom, that, that, whoo. Once I learned that, once I learned that, it um, changed my perspective a little bit on how I uh, worked at the things I do. I read a book called Talent is Overrated. If you guys ever, I'll, little picture right here. This book, I promise you this book, if, if you read it, if you truly sit down, read this book, it's a little challenging word for word, a little bit more challenging than some of the, like the storybooks and stuff like that. 
But this book is really good. This makes you realize that you can do basically anything. And it also makes you realize that the shit that you want to do and the stuff that you want to get good at, you're probably not even doing it yet. So you, you got to start now. You got to start now. So that, that book was like, oh, that little fire, bang, little fire up under my booty. And I had to, you know what I'm saying? So right now I'm in the headspace where I'm trying to currently run whatever I run faster. Start picking up my pace, picking up my cadence, picking up all that stuff. Start learning a little bit more about all that stuff. You know, for a while, I, for a while, I had to build the confidence that I was going to be consistently uh, working out and running. And once I did that, you know, I started doing different things like making YouTube, doing stuff like that. And it's a, it's all a cycle. It's all a cycle. That's going to be for another video, a different like motivational podcast. You know, that, that's, that's way too much information and uh, stuff that I actually didn't plan out to talk about. So like, I'd rather have like a full plan out conversation. Cause sometimes in this podcast, I do want to drop some podcasts about like motivation, you know, like not just motivation, but just like some help. You know, if I learn something by doing something the wrong way, best believe I'm going to try to come here and give you the, the reason why I did it how I did it wrong, like why it was wrong, uh, what led me to the information that, you know, could maybe give a better solution. And then how can you guys learn from that? You know, and you know, a, f a fool, learn all right, I, I don't know the exact, I don't know the exact quote, but I'm going to, I don't care. A fool learns from his own mistakes and someone smart learns from somebody else's mistakes. Just like that. A fool learns from his own mistakes. And a smart person learns from somebody else's mistakes. So don't let yourself fail to have to learn something. You know, your boy is, uh, everybody's failing. Everybody's failing, so learn from everybody else. And uh, keep yourself, keep yourself in, uh, in uh, I don't know. But you got to go get it, too. You got to go make it happen. You got to go work for it. And you got to go learn. And you got to put yourself in a position to learn. And, uh, yeah. So it, it's give and take. Life's give and take, man. Life is struggle. And life is order and chaos, man. My, my boy Jordan Peterson low-key worded it pretty well. Worded it pretty well. I can't lie. Not everybody is a big J JP guy. You know, I'm not pushing JP. But 12 Rules for Life, fire book. Guys, I'm going to wrap it up. You know, I'm getting deep into the books because I have been reading. I will eventually drop a podcast talking maybe about a full book, talking about a book, maybe talking. I do. I do specifically want to have people on. I'm not really in the position to um, offer somebody, not advice, but in the position to offer somebody something like this podcast wouldn't offer an author um, exposure, stuff like that. It would An author coming on would honestly offer me something. So eventually with time i'm trying to build this podcast build you know build some build some listeners and stuff hell yeah baby but um and then eventually you know hopefully read a book have a, have a fun podcast about uh, an author and what led him to this book and you know you guys can learn and if you guys read a book stuff like that so it is uh it is, it's all learning it's all learning and it's fun man we're trying to have some fun like i said bro don't don't, don't just make sure if you if you if you're watching some porn and you see your wife on the porn site I don't know what to do, bro. Go for a run or something, guys. But this is the Keeping It Real podcast. Uh, I'm wrapping it up, guys. Take it easy. Stay, stay, stay tuned for the uh, for the Monday slash Tuesday podcast. We are coming hard. If you want to check out this podcast on Apple Podcast, it is called the Keeping It Real podcast. Check me out on Instagram. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Show this video, show this podcast to a friend. Thank you so much for watching. Take it easy, guys.